so uh, now we are removing a EK Supreme this is their heat killer Supreme it uh, has a copper inside and coated with a nickel finish gives it a nice shine um, what I've noticed is uh, when I was running this computer before is that I was getting lots of restriction meaning that I wasn't getting a lot of flow so there wasn't much stuff going through the or the coolant going through the tubing which causes a problem when I want to add chipset block to it so I'm going to change the flow plate which is this looks uh, as you can see it's got a little bit wider hole than let's say a low plate like that so what I'm going to do is turn it over use a little provided allen wrench they give it's tiny and the newer models they uh, increase the size of the allen wrench along with the screws because people were complaining that they were hard to turn without snapping off so we'll unscrew this enough to get insides of it go to the next one this one is a little bit harder to get started last one there we go Get this turned, and now you're going to feel it start to separate. When you buy these, you probably don't need to ever remove this unit because usually the flow plates that are on it are decent enough for whatever application you're using it for. But when you're cooling two processors and a chipset, you end up really needing to uh, change the flow bracket, flow plates. Water cooling can be very simple until you get into your custom loops and two processors and chipsets and some people even do RAM. Generally doing your RAM is a little over the top. Usually the uh, stock with it is good enough. But then again most of the time your processor speed is good enough. But well, we're not going to go there. Generally, I can get these things clocked to around 4, 4.2. I've even seen as high as 4.5 on air. When you get into water, you start to be able to break that. I have X5650s, some of the higher ends that allow you to have uh, higher clocks. You don't want that to happen. Now, inside is some of the old coolant from what I had originally. We're going to clean that off. You can see it's slide, sloshing around in there. It's a very little amount. Now I know some people are like, oh my god, it's over the board, but none of it dripped out. One of the biggest practices I do after uh, I finish doing any of this is, is to get a can of air, or better yet, if you have a, a compressed air machine, that's generally a better bet. That way you can uh, make sure that uh, you clear out all like little whatever shavings, metal shavings, hair, anything else that can get in the way. So here's the ring to it. I'm going to set it down straight up in front of me. 
And now. Now installed on it, you can see the flow plate that was originally on it, which is, well, definitely not very uh, high flow, especially considering that's your difference. So, I'm going to take it off. Remove this. off of it. I'm going to replace it with this one. There's little parameters inside it that will help you sink it in. You put the little rubber thing on it. Help get a good seal on it. Then you take the second ring and you put it around the outside. got to be very careful. The object is to try and form it so that it goes all the way around in a good circle. So that way when you put back on the top plate that you try and form it. I think the better bet honestly would be to take the rubber piece and form it around here. Trying to gently form it. around here. Take the, the other small rubber piece, set it inside. See if I can get it to sit. This rubber seal is very important so that way when you put on this piece It all lines up. So let's set that there. You're lining this up here. Now, one of the most crucial things you do after you change out plates is to ensure that it's not leaking because a leak from the inside of this will spell disaster for your chip and in my case that's a thousand dollar chip times two not something I want to cry home to so I'm going to tighten these down and then we'll go get the other one done. And then I'll move on to most likely the GPU, which we have a 480. We're going to put an XS PC full coverage block on. So with that, this is Silicus. This is continuing the SR2 build and installation of a water cooling system.